what is up guys it is badass brown skin back with another video so in this video i will be reviewing and coloring and installing this hair so if you are interested then please stay tuned circles circles ellipses trees and flowers trees and grass and laughs hey guys so i will be doing a unboxing slash review on eva hair so they sent me a 180 density 20 inch curly wig this wig came in this box and in the box was a, a weaving net but i didn't need the weaving net because i was going to glue it down and not sew it down so i'm taking the wig out of the bag and it is 20 inches long and this pattern is bomb i didn't expect the hairline to be that bomb and i didn't expect this bomb parting that comes with it either I was so shook I had to show my girl on FaceTime like girl do you see this wig oh my goodness I cannot <laughs> this wig is so bomb for real so here I'm putting the wig on my wig head um, I noticed that when I put my wig <clears throat> when I put my wig on the wig itself was kind of big on my head it, it wasn't big big but it was like it wasn't snug um, so I do think that I'm going to consider trying the elastic band method with this hair. Um, it is intact and secured, but um, I just would like it a little bit more snug. So here I'm pinning it down and I'm going to give you guys a nice view of the hairline and the parting space because it's like unbelievable. Okay, unbelievable. <laughs> and I did not expect that at all. Like I did. I don't know. You know, when I get a wig, I just suspect that I'm going to have to go plucking crazy and make it look natural. But lately... I've been blown away. So you guys see the um, parting space here is very natural. You don't have to do anything at all. So here I'm going in with the Cream of Nature box dye to lift my hair color. Now I've never used a box dye on a wig before. I never dyed a wig period. So this is my first time dyeing the hair. So here I'm separating the hair where I want to color it in sections. I section off the front part and then I section off the back because the back I'm going to give like individual highlights and the top I'm just going to color. So here I'm adding the color. Um, I'm not adding it any special way. I'm just putting it throughout the hair and rubbing it in. I'm gonna be adding like a good amount to the hair because I wanna make sure that the color gets on each individual strand. Um, I'm, now that I'm thinking about it, I wish I would've like combed through the hair while I had the color in there, but I didn't do that because it was it was already so messy and I think that's one reason why I stay away from color, but I'm gonna start venturing towards color. So anyway, I switched my camera around so you guys can get a better view of what I'm doing. While I was doing this, I noticed that the hair also kept this pattern like naturally, like I didn't have to, like I was scared that it might've lost this pattern or starting to straighten out a little bit, but it kept this pattern with the, <laughs> with the product in its hair and it kept it after I washed it out. So that was like a major plus and it didn't like mess up the texture.
So here in the back, this is what I mean while I was like, I'm going to do like kind of individual highlights. I just grabbed like random pieces of hair and added the color there. So that way when I put my hair up in a pony, you know, it would look cute in the back. That's what I was thinking. But it came out really pretty. Like I didn't have no like set <laughs> goal on like how I wanted it to look. I just kind of was like, I'm going to do this that way. <laughs> so that's what I did. But I was um a little nervous because like I said, this was the first time I did it on a wig. But this hair held it. It held it. And I'm so happy for that. So we're about all done and I'm going to let the hair sit. I let it sit for about 25 minutes. Um, yeah, no, I think it was like 22, like a random number. This is how it looked when I washed it out. So I'm flipping it on now. <laughs> I'm trying to part the hair in the middle, like as desired as I want it to, because I had it parted before, but when I washed it, it kind of, I kind of lost my part. So anyway, I added my uh, Forever Ultimate Glue, and then I went in with my Got To Be, and I just uh, placed the wig on like I would regularly do. I still have a stocking cap under from my last wig, and it rolled back a little bit. Um, so when my wig is installed, you're going to see the the brown from the stocking cap not as close to my hairline under the wig so that in this wig I had to go in a little bit more with the powder just to blend out that line so it wouldn't look you know any it wouldn't look crazy it would look a little crazy but <laughs> yeah that's why I wouldn't we'll go in with the powder also another thing now that I'm looking at this um, you see that I like pick my hairs out of like the glue like try to be careful when you put the glue on your skin because and like try to place it exactly where you want it so that way your baby hairs won't stick to it and it won't like you know have extra product on them when you slay it for the first time it can, it can like stiffen up the hairs and they won't move like you want them to and you gotta do a lot more so just try to like place the glue and the uh, spray where you want it to so here I am um, Pulling my edges out, the ones that I'm going to cut. Um, this wig has a, some really long edges, okay? And I was like, okay. But, um, and it's plucked really good. So here, I'm just pulling my headband back to get all the extra hair out my way. And I'm gonna go in and cut my baby hairs. Onward, we're slicking the baby hairs down now. Um, what I used, I used um, wrapping lotion, foam lotion and the got to be free spray on a toothbrush and yep i do that wrap it up and i call it a day so here i am wrapping my edges and i only let it sit for about mm, i want to say 10 15 minutes i don't really even have to let it sit that long because the the new lace glue that i use is so securing and the products that i use for my edges it just kind of dries so quickly so here I'm cleaning up my part like I said I was going to do to help blend that out and now as you can see you can't even really tell where the problem is <laughs> there's no problem okay <laughs> now you guys can see a little bit clearer how the hair color came out and how it came styled well how I styled it um I'm really happy with it it's funny how like the top like is more lighter than the bottom and I lightened the bottom first I don't know how that worked but it looks good like I'm not mad like at all I'm actually really fucking happy but you yeah, know so this is what the hair texture is looking like still after being colored the hair is so bouncy and like tangle free I didn't have any shedding let me tell you that right now I didn't have any shedding um and the knots was bleached okay so I don't know what else to tell you and it's plucked 
Like, girl, I could do a whole side part and a whole up and down ponytail, little the little space ponytails, all of that, and it look good. So this is what the back is looking like. This is how that curl pattern is looking. This is the half up, half down I was telling you about. Super cute. <laughs> Turned the light on so you guys can see a little bit more. The texture is bomb. All right, guys, so that is the wrap up of the video. I hope that you like this video. Um, this was my first time ever coloring a wig and I'm not mad at how it came out. This was the color brown that I actually wanted to go for, like an auburn, dark. Yeah, but um, it matches my skin tone perfect for fall. Anyway, like I was saying, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, all the information will be down in the description below. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you. Badass Brown Skin out.